Hello, welcome to my Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Akemi Gary. I am an independent, um, independent stamping up demonstrator in Charles Ford, Pennsylvania. Today's project is um, I am going to use cottage wreath stamp set and um, fancy fold and the very band um, with the um, with the Halloween card. So you can move the, this very band card, uh, very band in center. You just take it off, and when you open up, it's gonna be like this. Is that fun? Okay. Um, we have a lot going on today uh, about the 24 hours fresh stamp sale. It's a f all 50% uh, 15 off. So I'm going to go over that um, too, maybe the end of the um, this uh, video. Maybe I, sh I will share a couple of my projects I have done be uh, with stamp set before. So, all right, stay, uh, stay with me. Hi, Mary. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I was with you earlier today, but uh, glad you're here. And um, yeah, please leave a comment. Yes. Okay, let me switch the um, camera view. I think I'm getting better for this, right? Um, let me see. I need to hide this here. And okay. 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 All right, you can see on my desk now. Good. And uh, I am going to refresh my monitor so I can see the uh, comment. Okay. All right. Oh, my hair gets in. Okay. Okay, 24 hour stamp sale. It's all day long today until uh, midnight the mountain time. So uh, East Coast time would be uh, 1.59 a.m. on the uh, Friday morning. Um, all stamp set from the uh, annual catalog it will be 15% off. Um, I, although I calculate if you are looking for bundle, um, a lot of times 10% uh, off is uh, for the bundle set. It might be better deal rather than you order a stamp set with a 15% discount plus you need to pay die you know, for price. So just uh, you just be aware. So it's always good to purchase the only stamp set, uh, not like a bundle one. So um, that's just need to be uh, aware of. All right, weekly deals out. So uh, new items listed from today to 21st. So the one I'm gonna uh, use the project uh, project today that paralyzed the enamel effect of basics that's uh original price was a 15 dollars but today uh next seven days gonna be 13 50 so 10 percent off uh a lot of good stuff is the dye Eden's dyes them off um it's almost like uh 20 percent off that is a really good deal and a dsp and a vellum paper and a masking paper off as well all right, perfect partner is still going on. So um, take advantage of the, those uh, time-limited uh, uh, specialty dyes. So those six dyes are only available during September. So my number one choice was in the, this uh, uh, that birthday figure. It's just so cute. If you haven't seen the project I made, I, um, Instagram, Facebook page, um, please check that. It's really cute. While card making day, it's October 1st. So this is the one one bundle it's included in here, cottage wreath. Um, 
if you purchase one of these uh, bundles before October 1st, you will get the uh, Iridzden Pearl Basic Gel Element is for free. So right here, this one. If you order online, make sure you just need to punch uh, item number and then um, you get the free as that. So if you don't list it, you don't get it. So just be careful about that too. So their uh, stamping up gonna have the battery event on October 1st. So they will share some project um, using this cottage release bundle and uh, um, the cardstock, they're gonna use a crumb cake, shimari white, and the ink, ink colors, uh, crumb cake, and a flirty flamingo, and old leaf. And the coloring too is a water painter. So it'll be interesting, maybe little water colors. So today I'm gonna make the uh, Halloween card. So you can just um, use that, um, some inspiring, some uh, project if you get uh, this set. Also, I got that this set, welcome, uh, warm welcome. This bundle would be, uh, would be in the um, mini catalog starting January, January to June mini catalogs. It's really cute. It has a die for the door, the little flowers, bouquet, present cats. It's really cute. Um, I'd like to share some project and maybe next week. All right. That's for the little information from me today. Uh, today we are going to work on this sweet the gingham cottage. It's really cute. It has a cute wreath and then you can create all kinds of holidays and Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And the dye has a lot of dye here. Now also this is very interesting uh, elements here pulverized enamel effect basics it comes a black clear red and white so if you apply it it kind of get dry and it kind of has a little like a three almost like a 3d um, effect so it's really fun to use so all right okay I got the inspiration from my upline, Robin Greer. We did a uh, card swap. This is, a, uh, I received a card from her. So it has a little berry band here. Um, you, you take it off this berry band. She created her own DSP. These are all stamp set. I think it's the uh, softly, um, I wrote down the stamp set's name, hold on. No, my paper is not here. So let me see if I can find it. Mm, it's right here. Uh, mini catalog page 53. Soft seasoning right here. It's really pretty. I see the lots um cars on a Pinterest. It's a perfect for the four cars. It's beautiful. And she created all those uh, DSP here. I mean, own DSP. She stamped on it here. And then she opens up here. It's, it's like that. So this is just a regular size. But when you open up, you have like a four and a quarter by 11 inches um card stocks and then just fold up right here like this in the belly band it's something different it's fun always fun see like this so my design is this one and then look at this this is a um i don't know you can see in the camera this is a um Powerize enamel effect. That's a black. I made a little dot and also I add in a little bit here and a spider. I don't know if you can see the little shininess little on the camera. Can you see it? Little 
it looked like a puffed up. So I, after I apply, I wait like almost one night so that way it really dry. Once it's really dry, it doesn't move anything. So, all right, let's start making this tonight. I'm going to put this in here. Let's see, I put it in here. Okay, the card you need, um, let's see, I can get a little bit over here. Can you see where? All right. All right, paper size is here. That um, cardstock, four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then score at the two inches, three and three quarter, and a seven and a quarter, and a nine inches. That's I'm gonna score. And then, base is just a four and a quarter by five and a half, and the basic white, is three and a quarter by four inches so it goes on the inside and for the dsp you can oh uh, let's see the biggest one is here you can use either side but two of one and three quarter by four inches and a two of one and a half by four inches. And then two of three quarter by four inches. And then here's a belly band. Belly band is one inch by 11. And then for the focal point, this is a two and a three quarter by two and a three quarter. Uh, I use the, uh, this, um, uh, stylish die my favorite stylish shape dies has a um, triangle uh, I'm sorry the rectangles and the banners and the circles and it has a little stitches all around so I've been using this a lot a lot and uh, I think they're back in the shell uh, back in the stock so no more uh, back order right now so before get back, it's been back all a long time, but it's back. I think you can order. All right, let's put it back. Okay, let's start. It's very simple. I already give you a uh, dimension you know, for the um, papers and then uh, score. So let's start score. I'm gonna use a uh, uh, simply scoring board. Right here. Hello, is that uh, who's there? Then please uh, uh, leave a comment where you're watching from. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, first you need to score on the two inches. And then three and three quarter. And a seven and a quarter. And then nine inches here. Just like that. Okay. And I use the uh, bone holder to fold. Punish the paper really well so you, so you have a really nice crease here. Okay, and then I will put this one um, I'm gonna do in the center, but I just wanna make sure. So you lift this flip, and then you wanna have the one inch from the both end. So I just use this grip paper, make sure I do the one inch. All right, I'm gonna use the uh, multi-purpose Ricky glue. Okay. 
Okay. Use the grid paper, make sure I, I line up in a nice and a straight here. Okay. So one inch from the each side. Okay. All right. Just like this. Now I'm gonna um, put the, all those DSP designer sheets paper. Okay. So the skinny one. You can use any side, either side. Man, I wanna do just maybe black so that way a little bit Halloween looking and the East Coast it's been really nice fall weather today was a beautiful day and we had a, a International Women's Club opening party where uh, Mary and I a member it was very nice to see that everybody in person Okay. okay, here you go. All right, I'm gonna put in a larger pattern on the paper here. I go like this. Okay. All right. Here you go. Forgot the, what's the name of this uh, this design series paper? It's a cottage gingham cottage. It comes really variety of the color. Let me show you here: real red. Uh, brushing bride, pumpkin pie, garden green, mint macaron, basic black. So you, it has a Christmas color, Valentine's color, Halloween, Thanksgiving color, Christmas color. Mint macaron could use mint macaron, the brush bride could be Easter color, and then basic black. So you can use a lot of occasion. Actually, it comes with the um, 48 sheets and a for each of the 12 double sided design so it's a lot a lot paper there all right so I'm gonna open up here and I'm, I'm gonna put the uh, another DSP here I could go like this I could go like that maybe I do this way I was hoping to uh, making a Christmas one too but I didn't but I'll promise I'll make it next few days and a post it be the uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook page. Okay. It would be fun to create some uh, tree box with this paper too. I think that's why I purchased this so I can make a lot uh, like a gift wrapping. Okay. This is just basic design here, just like this. All right. Now I'm going to do a stamping part. So. So for the inside, um, I'm gonna use this one. Um, and memento ink. And I'm looking for this sentiment, it says boo. Boo is in the center. I'm gonna upstairs in my kitchen, the timer is going on. I don't think it, nobody there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the spider. Ah, which way is on a... This way? Okay. All right, I'm gonna put a couple of those here, like crawling. Ooh. Okay, just like that. And that goes in the center here. 
Oop, my hair. And the September is already halfway through and before we know it's gonna be October. Yeah, we just say goodbye to summer, it's like already halfway through in the September. Once the school starts, I just had a, a big school meeting last night. <coughs> my youngest ones and uh, we planned that because they are in the eighth graders um, they have a lot of graduation uh, a lot of event before they move up to the high school so um, parents kind of had a lot of committees and then fundraising and uh, some events and ooh, a lot it's gonna be very very busy yeah all right so I'm gonna start um stamping for the um front um using a pumpkin pie and here is the uh stamp for the wrist the uh for this stamp set um wrist it's circle and it has a coordinate die and when you open up uh, you see that this mark here and, and also here that's indicate when you use the um, when you use a die you see that this little um, mark here so that's supposed to match like this so when you move it's very difficult to to find where the correct location to cut out because just you know race is a circle but you see that those mark and that goes here so what I did was I put the uh, uh, sh I took a sharpie I just put the mark here and then for my idea is always come to my right side so when you when I need to cut out I just put the, this mark um, to line uh, line up like this so that way I can cut the correct position so today I don't use this die but I just want to be aware of why die and the stamp set has uh, this uh, those what what you call like a B mark like uh, some uh, triangle mark so all right so okay I'm gonna stamp here in the center. We just press down nicely. One, two, three. Oh, it's so pretty. It already comes a nice shade. This is called um, distinctive stamp. It's like almost like has a little uh, different tones in each leaf. Okay. And then I take the memento ink and then I stamp this. Do you see I mark it on here with Sharpie as well? So I keep this mark on the right side so that way it will match nicely. Okay, very good. All right, so then I need a black bow. Hmm. Do I need to cut it? Oh, I thought I cut it. Yeah, I did. I did. I cut it. It goes here. Now, I didn't cut out the spider, so I need to stamp the spider here. Let me grab a basic white card. <coughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna stamp um, spider with a memento ink. Maybe I stamp, stamp a couple of them. I just stamp a couple of them. It has a die for this, tiny, tiny die. Okay, right here. Actually, I can cut the bow too if I have a black paper. 
Let's see. My mini. My mini here. Oh, we got that dotty. All right. Okay, opens up. And okay, I need a number one platform and a number two. And I'll put this one here. Let me cut this. see can you see this all right I'm gonna put die here so tiny all right maybe I use a masking tape or post it not to skewer so it won't move okay like that and I also got the black cardstock so I just cut the bow as well okay I'll just Make a sandwich and it just roll. Okay. There's a spider. Spider here. And a bow. This one like that okay this bow has a nice embossing here it's really cute I don't know you can see it it's this nice little um, emboss so all right so I'm gonna put those on the uh, um, let's use the uh, uh, multi-purpose wiki glue just tiny bit and I just do, you no, know, I do the um, dimensional here. Okay, bow here, and then, you know, after I realize, stamping up has like a black, um, black dimensional. This might be perfect to use a black dimensional, but I have a white here that's fine, right here. Okay, and just like this, like hanging. All right, so this goes in the front like this. So now I'm going to make a belly band. Um, I do not score on a belly band. I just put around, around the uh, card so that way you have a little thickness for the card so that gives a little bit I just want to give a little bit loose here so that way it's easier to move this very bad so okay I didn't do a real center but it's good okay use the bone folder to varnish the paper oh, there you go all right now just put near. Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. All right. Just, just make sure it's nice and straight before I glue the focal point. So it's right here. Let me move it. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to put the glue here. You do not want to put the too much glue because this glue is sometimes comes out from here and then stick in a base. 
base card so just make sure just just enough to hold this one all right oh i forgot the you know what let me take it off i forgot the uh, ribbon this one let's see uh we'll put this one just that's uh, i just need a 11 inches a little shorter than 11 inches fine and then i'm gonna use this um tan tape this tape and i'm gonna cut up a little bit tiny bit here one two and then cut in a half i just cut in half because of the, this ribbon is a little skinny a little bit skinnier than this um tape so i don't want to get any sticky parts on the outside so I just gonna cut in a half and just go like this. All right, and then let's take it off in the backings. Hmm. I don't know if here there's some timer that goes off in my kitchen. Nobody turn off the timer. Okay. All right. あ、ようこさん、おはようございます。朝早くからありがとうございます。いつもありがとうございます。うん。日本はどうですか?お天気良くなってきましたか?アメリカは秋らしくなってまいりましたよ。よし。ではここ。I already put the glue so I need to be careful I don't touch in that area. So I'm gonna put this one in the center. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Okay. All right, let's do it again. And make sure nice and straight. Actually, I'm gonna put a little weight so it doesn't move. Okay, and then I am going to use Ricky glue, just put it around here. Oops. I will stretch in a little bit, spread nicely so that way it doesn't gooey, doesn't come out. Okay. All right. Okay. And I will place right here, make Make sure it won't touch the bottom. Okay. All right, that's good. I just put a little weight so until it get really settled here. And I'm gonna take out with this. Uh, this is a, a lot of fun. It's a, a powerized enamel effect basic it says basic black that's a real red and a white the white might be really pretty and like snow now i can use the red one for the uh christmas um wreath and then just put the red for like a christmas bowl so let's try it's very simple you just take it off red and then you just squeeze and I put in a little bit, little bit here in the spider. Oop, I put a little bit. Oh, the, the spider got a little fat. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to put a little dot around in the wrist. Just squeeze a little bit here and then there. Just like this. So I let dry like one night like eight hours so that after eight hours it's really nice and dry i can't do juicy the little dot in there it's really nice and bumpy so all right this is a today's card what do you think do you have any questions yeah just leave a comment who where where you watching 
All right, I'm gonna go over a couple of uh, stamp sets. Uh, today is a stamp sale and a 50% off. So um, if you uh, good not those cards, I'm gonna put away. And uh, I really, I just grab a couple of cards now from my stash. So, okay. This is a really pretty uh, sunflower called the Celebrate. Whoa. I, I have all stamp set in here, okay? This is a Celebrate Sunflowers. This is in a 15% off today. And this is a cute, it, it is a, a coordinate is a um, punch. It came out, uh, uh, it was released maybe three years ago, two years ago. So this is called the Well Done. This is really cute. It's a, like an ocean theme stamp set. I love this is really cute and I use this alcohol marker technique there oh here's another sunflower this is I stamp on, on the uh, water coloring paper and then I just spread the color with the uh, water painters I made it this long time ago I made so many of those I love this it looks like watercolor so both those are both watercolor techniques Okay, this one is Eden's, right? Um, do I have it? Yes. Eden's Garden. And this die is sale for the um, weekly deals this week. So that's almost like a 20% off, which is a really good deal. So Eden's die, $35 was now $28. So it's 20% off. And then stamp set is a 50% off, so which is a really good deal. It's really pretty, right? And, oh, this, oh, here's another Eden's card. This is, I create with this stamp set. It's not like a really Christmas, but uh, I use the uh, Christmas message. And I, again, I stamp with the, uh, uh, who some, oh, uh, smoky slate and then i add a car with a, a water painter and uh, just here's a dye and i add a red ribbon it looks like a christmas card and i i love this it's really pretty i did a gold embossing heat embossing here but it just didn't show so much gold but and uh, i really like uh, this card actually i love the car so this is a eden's garden and oh this is was this this project was really popular in my um instagram wheel so we got a lot i got a lot to respond so this is really um this stamp set is mountain air and then i use the mountain air also this uh all those sunbeams right mountain air and um, I thought, that, oh, right here, it's in front of me. Uh, rays of the light. That's the uh, this background right here, right here. Also this one. And also this technique was a uh, one layer card. Just this is a one layer card nothing in the inside and I use the uh, uh, masking paper which is right now weekly deal as well stamping up masking paper it's a seven dollars was and now five and sixty it's really good to have the, this masking paper speaking masking paper um, this is I use the masking paper as well it's like a tiles um, you just basically mask and then you use the branding brush to add the color. I really love the, this technique. Don't you? We had uh, some uh, um, Tuesday card, card uh, making club or card making group. Uh, we, um, they have a challenge every week and then one, one week was uh, called a tile technique. So I use a masking paper and it came out really neat and a really cool effect here. 
Hi, Shannon. Cute card. Love the food. Thank you so much. How are you doing? We missed you last night. Oh, oh gee, I touched this card now. I just messed up here. I wonder I can fix it. Um, I will fix it later. Yep. Yeah. When you do this parallel, yeah, you have to wait and dry really well. Mm, I met. Okay. It's good. All right, this is the card. And then this also the uh, same idea, the tile. Oh, forgot that that's a butterfly brilliant. Again, this is a 15% off. Um, this is Dragonfly Garden. I love this uh, stamp set. It has a lot of motif in it. It's a dragonfly and flies and uh, flowers and those sentiments really uh you are an inspiration it's really a cool stamp set okay so this is again 15 percent off oh this is one of my favorite one it's um friends are like seashells i love this uh, stamp set it has a really nice message friends are like seashells you collect them along the way you are unique and completely amazing. I, I love this one. It is so pretty. All right. And this one, this is a new one, right? Maybe sunlight, uh, um, sampling. Sampling, I think that uh, the sampling must be, uh, uh, the stamp set is a um, sale, but if you like looking for the bundle, uh it's better to uh purchase it as a bundle ten, get that 10 percent off okay this is the uh um, this one is oh i forgot the, also this one good feelings that's the stamp set i use for this this bunch of the card so this is really good too. It has a nice saying, it's just large. So if you stamp the car front, you are down for that. It's really good. All right, this card for bottle of the happiness. It comes with a punch um, a bundle right now, but it's if you don't get the punch, you can still make a lot of good uh, cards with this, like that. Okay, so I hope you take advantage of the 15% of the um, 24 hour stamp sale. So if you have any question, let me know. I'm gonna put the uh, group local customer, I'm gonna put the uh, um, group order tonight. So just text me, email me before eight o'clock. What time is it? It's uh, another 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, just... Um, I'm gonna make a uh, group order, so you don't need to worry about minimum order. Um, you all just pay the shipping fee is a ten, uh, eleven percent, and even you just get the uh, twenty dollars stamp set, it's only fifteen uh, eleven percent of the shipping, and then no tax because we're in Delaware. So um, yeah, we don't have a sales tax, so we're a lucky one. All right, so did I cover everything? Do you have anything? Oh, Becky, hi, how are you? Once you're tired, you're good? You're doing good? <laughs> Thank you so much for taking care of the IWC this morning. It was nice to see you. All right. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any requests and question, please, uh, Email me, text me, uh, uh, DM me. Um, uh, yeah, uh, let me know. Yes, Becky, I took a long nap. Yes, you need it. You worked so hard this morning. I know that was a lot. Yeah. All right. Good, good. But it was, but it was a lot of fun to see everybody in IWC this morning. It was fun. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, okay, today's card was this. And then um, I touched it before this power was got dry maybe i need to redo this one unfortunately so but good one here it's it's a power rise in here that i put in a little bit over the uh, spider so it has a little like a 3d effect and then you move that this very band and it opens up like that 
It's a boo. Okay, so this is today's card. I hope you try to make this. All right, thank you so much for watching, joining me tonight. And uh, um, if you, you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me a heart and a share. And hope to see you next time. And Facebook Live is every Thursday at 7 o'clock. And Instagram Live is Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock. All right. Thank you so much. Bye now.